malaria is a serious thing in Kenya, especially within the rural communities and uh, slum communities and peri-urban communities. People are dying because of malaria and it's, it's affecting so many of us. Like me, I just had malaria last month. I was so sick, my head was paining, I had fever. So I, I lose a lot when I don't come to school. I started feeling dizzy, I had an headache. It was so painful. I had these headaches that did not seem to end. Malaria is quite endemic in Uganda. We could say that more than 95% of the country lies in area where you'll say there is high transmission going on. We say that the mothers who are pregnant and the children under five are at a higher risk of malaria infection than the general population. One of the major achievements I can say is uh, the pediatric formulations. Now we have drugs for children which are more palatable, which improves the therapeutic outcomes. To take us to where we want, which would be elimination of malaria, more resources will be needed and also more tools will be needed because the current tools that we have, even if they were scaled up, probably even five folds, they will not be sufficient to eradicate you know, the malaria. Malaria is a preventable disease. What we need to do is actually all systems work. That means uh, the ministry, the community, the partners work towards one common uh, goal of reducing uh, and actually eliminating uh, malaria completely from uh, the country and uh, majorly sustain the same because you can eliminate and m not able to sustain. One of the major things I would really request is increased funding by the local governments and the international community to be able to bring down malaria to the levels we can be able to afford or completely eliminate it. We need to do more research. It's really, really important that we have the resources and also resources that are availed locally by our own governments towards the development of new tools, new vaccines, better understanding of the disease. I think that's a really big gap. I've always seen malaria, you know, all around. It's easy to almost get used to accepting it, but it's part of, you know, life. Yet it really shouldn't be because we know there are countries that have achieved, you know, eradication and elimination of malaria. I believe that one day we'll have a malaria-free world. I believe a malaria-free world would be a really happy one. It would mean life, life for people who are currently dying from the disease. Imagine waking up tomorrow and it's being aired that this is a free malaria zone. It will be awesome. Yeah, there will be opportunities. People would be able to go for the opportunities uh, without having to worry about malaria. <laughs> I, I will be able to go to school. I'll be able not to miss school and it will be a good life. I won't be sick anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate if malaria is gone and God forgot. <laughs>